The Gulf of Manar is known to be a hot spot for biodiversity tourism in India. It's stunning when you look at how the randomly scattered boats on the sea seem to make such an aesthetic pattern. Dhanushkodi is an abandoned town at the southeastern tip of Pamban Island of the state of Tamil Nadu in India. It is southeast of Pamban and is 24 kilometers west of Talaimanar in Sri Lanka. The Ramanatha Swami Temple is the most notable historic landmark of the town. Located in the center, the temple is dedicated to the god Shiva. The Ramanatha Swami Temple is one of the 12 Jyotirlinga shrines where Shiva is worshipped in the form of a Jyotirlinga or pillar of light. Rameshwaram is famous for high quality silk saris. The variety you find here is astounding. The House of Kalam is the childhood home of India's beloved former president, late Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. As I approach my last day in Tamil Nadu, I can't help but think that despite spending so much time here, I feel like I've barely scratched the surface of what this state has to offer. My final destination on this journey is Tanjavur. Tamil Nadu tourism has done a remarkable job of making the state extremely tourist friendly. On the way to Tanjavur, I spotted this stunning field with a hut in the center. I had to capture this moment on film and we just got off and did an impromptu photo shoot right here. Sometimes I wonder whether being so connected is good for us. Oh uh, yeah, I know. But look at the view. Yeah. Stuck on your phone. <laughs> I was just searching Stuck for on your phone. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. Put it down. <laughs> okay. Look at the view. <laughs> After the shoot, we decided to head to Tanjavur, and the first place on my list was the Pukara Street Flower Market. The flower market at Pukara Street in Tanjavur has over 50 traders. It caters to the demand in Tanjavur along with the neighboring towns and districts like Tiruvarur and Nagapattinam. There is a wide variety of flowers available here, like roses and chamomile flowers. While exploring the market, I came across a fan who was eager to get a photo clicked. By now, you all know the drill. You have to do 20 push-ups. Sure. I'll do it. Yeah, please. 20. 20. One, two, three. You also want a picture? Four, five. Yeah, he's for, for the photo only. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Strong, strong. Very good. Yes, where's your phone? Huge fan. I keep telling my father in law that I want to be like you at 55. Really? Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. This is, this is awesome, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you for being an inspiration. Thank you. By the way, in case you're wondering if I hold myself to the same standards as I hold my fans, here's a short clip of me doing 50 push-ups in 45 seconds.
you're looking for a sure shot way to get fit, start slow and build up the capability to do this. Yeah. 45 seconds. 50. 50. Done. Tamil Nadu prides itself on creating some of the best saris in the world. Different districts have distinct styles and I didn't really think that I'd end up exploring saris as much as I did on this trip. But when you're bitten by the travel bug, every chance to learn something new is a chance you cannot pass up. Located in Tanjavur is Tiruvannam, which is famous around the world for high quality silk sarees. In South India, these sarees are an integral part of wedding celebrations. Tiruvannam silk sarees are made of pure silk and gold-plated silver jari thread. The fan folding of these silk sarees is very famous. The speciality of Tiruvannam silk sarees is that filature silk is used for both warp and weft, resulting in high quality, uniform and high luster sarees. Tanjavur art plate is an artifact that is exclusively made in Tanjavur. The Tanjavur dolls are a traditional handicraft of this region. I'm a big believer in learning from our history. I believe such history is best found in artifacts and monuments of a bygone era. Scattered across Tanjavur are these lovely antique handicraft showrooms. During my work assignment, we came across one such store and decided to do an impromptu photo shoot. Every item in the store had a story behind it and this history added an unprecedented charm to the whole experience. Mementos like the ones we saw here make for great conversation starters. Tanjor paintings are unique as they have areas that are elevated from the surface. Real 22 karat gold foil is stuck on the embossed areas which is why the paintings never fade. The dense composition, surface richness and vibrant colours of Indian Tanjavur paintings distinguishes them from other types of paintings. They are also often embellished with semi-precious stones, pearls and glass pieces that further add to their appeal. A classical art form from southern India, Tanjavur painting, also known as Tanjore painting, is a celebration of the region's rich artistic tradition. The paintings of Tanjore were propagated by the Chola kings who ruled South India during the 16th century and were patronized by the Maratha princes, the Nayakas of the Vijayanagar Empire, Rajus of Tanjore and Tiruchirappalli and the Naidus of Madurai. Tanjavur art plate is an artifact that is exclusively made in Tanjavur. These art plates are circular in shape and made as a gift item embossed with figures of gods and goddesses at the centre of the plate. The production of Tanjavur art plates dates back to the early 18th century. These Tanjavur art plates are crafted exclusively by the Vishwakarma community that consists of a few goldsmith families of Tanjavur. The Tanjavur Veena is unique because it is made from a particular strain of mature jackfruit tree found only in this area. The standard for top quality veenas was set by Govinda Dikshita, a music scholar in the court of the Nayaks 
who ruled Tanjavur in the 17th century. Traditionally, Venikas, that is Veena players who were particular about the quality of the sound, would even accompany the Acharis to select the trees from which their instrument would be made. A tree in the vicinity of a temple is the Holy Grail. It is believed vibrations from the temple bell and the chanting give the wood a superior quality. This proud tradition of making the best veenas continues to be carried forward by the artisans who live in Tanjavur. Away. Yeah, tell me. What do you like most about travel? I think uh, learning about new places and things that have been around forever. Things that have been around forever. Like the Royal Enfield. You know it's the oldest motorcycle brand in continuous production. Royal Enfields have been around since 1902. Wow. I know, right? The Tanjavur dolls are a traditional handicraft of this region. It's an ancient art dating back to the 19th century regime of Sarboji's kingdom. They are handmade and are traditionally made from wood and terracotta clay. The dolls are given multiple shapes, sizes, colors and styles by these artists to represent various traditional dance forms like Bharatanatyam, Kathakali and Manipuri. Tanjavur dolls are in very high demand during Navratri season. The current artisans have learnt this craft from their parents who learnt it from the generations before them. In Tamil, the dolls are called Tanjavur Taileyatti Bommai, which means bubble-headed dolls. I learnt about this process by talking to the artisans here who, like most of the wonderful people I've met, take a great pride in their work. These dolls were added to the geographical indications of India by the government of India in 2008. Tavala Adai, a famous evening snack, popular in Tanjavur households. It's a pan-fried pancake made with ground rice and dal. haven't already added this to your culinary bucket list, you must add it now. Built by Chola Emperor Raja Raja I between 1003 and 1010 AD, Brihadishwara Temple is locally known as Tanjai Periya Kovil. Brihadishwara Temple is locally known as Tanjai Periya Kovil and Raj Rajeshwaram. It is a Shaivite Dravidian style temple dedicated to Shiva. During my last visit, we did a photo shoot at the Brihadishwara Temple during the night. The setting was beautiful, but unfortunately, it didn't leave me with enough time to check out the temple properly. This time, I made it a point to learn everything I could about this majestic Chola monument. It is one of the largest Hindu temples and a great example of fully realized Tamil architecture. Built by Chola Emperor Raja Raja I between 1003 and 1010 AD, the temple is a part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site known as the Great Living Chola Temples. It is also famed for the quality of its sculpture, as well as being the location that commissioned the Brass Nataraja, Shiva, as the Lord of Dance in the 11th century. The complex includes shrines for Nandi, 
ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಕಾರ್ತಿಕೇಯ ಗಣೇಶ ಸಭಾಪತಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತಿ ಚಂಡೇಶ್ವರ ವರಹಿ ತ್ಯಾಗರಾಜ ತಿರುವರೂರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರಾನೈಟ್ ದ ವಿಮಾನ ಟವರ್ ಅಬವ್ ದ ಶ್ರೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟಾಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸೌತ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ಕಾಲೋನೇಡೆಡ್ ಪ್ರಕರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಶಿವಲಿಂಗಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಂಡರ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ I am using my phone for something very important though. Like what? To ensure that I ride ahead is smooth and safe. Oh wow. Yeah. That's nice. Exactly. <laughs> you wanted to be smooth and safe, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> Traveling across the great state of Tamil Nadu has been quite an experience. The last time I came here, I felt like I'd not seen enough. This time again, I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. It's a testament to how tourist friendly this state is that I can't wait to come back and spend more time here with the extremely welcoming locals. I found uh, the the people here very very hospitable. and there was this policeman who came uh, to me and he said you know i come with me and i don't speak tamil obviously and he couldn't speak uh, uh, hindi very well or even english so we couldn't really understand what we what we were saying to each other but he said he said come with me come with me and i went with him a few hundred meters and he took me to a sweet shop and he uh, he bought me some sweets mm. opinion regular 497 mein captain vyom ha dekha aapne ha ಮದರೇ ಫೇಮಸ್ It was really good. And that was, I thought it was amazing. It was a really nice, uh, I think, Arteka Halwa or something, wheat halwa, which was a speciality, he said, of Madurai. And it was delicious. But it was amazing for him to just come, come over to me and say, come here, I want you to taste this sweet. It's a speciality of our city. But this is very good. Wow. Riding on the Royal Enfield Classic on the beautiful roads here is something that every biker must have on their bucket list. Looking back, I'm so thankful for everyone who made this journey one to remember. I want to meet Khalid Mehdi Khalid. Cheers. Cheers. To good health from Suku Coffee in Madurai. Look there's an elephant. From the ranger at Madumalai and the officer at Paikara to the locals in Annamalai and Madurai everyone went to such great efforts to make this trip one that I'll never forget such a beautiful setting at the foothills of the western ghats gorgeous so calm so peaceful this trip comes to an end i wonder where will the road lead me next